This is News Channel 4 Today in New York. Well, they've always been controversial. Men are women who claim they can heal you with their touch. But now one of them, Dean Kraft, says each of us has the power within to hands-on heal. He has written a new book. It's called Touch of Hope as a blueprint on how to do it. But how real is it? I met up with Dean and some of those who say he's helped. I think what Dean gave me, uh, you know, as much as the physical help, was hope. Dr. Howard White is a psychologist by trade, but a ballet dancer in his heart. As you can see, he can jump, leap, turn, something he couldn't do a few years ago after surgery to correct a cord compression in his back. You know, I went through a nightmare thing of becoming gradually paralyzed. No one could diagnose it. Uh, they, they barely, you know, saved me from total paralysis with the surgery, but I was just so impaired that it was uh, ridiculous. Then he turned to Dean Kraft, who for 25 years has been what he calls a laying on of hands healer. I started out, you know, where I just, you know, helped a brother-in-law with a, with a headache, and then it went on to other relatives, friends, and family. Then doctors found out about it, and then they brought their patients. And then scientists found out about it and invited me to laboratories. And they just all sort of just fell in. Dean claims to have cured most people he has treated, like Nelda Buss. This was Nelda on the Today Show back in 1985, where she said her physician had given her a death sentence. Within just six months, ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, made me totally dependent on three of my family members. Basically, she was at a point where she had about six weeks to live. She gave away all her clothes. She picked her burial clothes herself and where she wanted to get buried. And she read about me in American Health magazine. Some article came out. She came to see me. I started working with her. Within about six months, I had her up on a walker, and in nine months, I had her walking with no AIDS. Today, Nelda says she lives a normal life and calls her treatment with Dean a miracle. I believe, you know, sort of God is the master painter and I'm the paintbrush. And uh, I believe that, uh, you know, I'm just a, an instrument to help stimulate someone's own natural healing system. When I asked him to touch me, here's what happened. Your hand is not moving. I can feel these vibrations and your hand is not moving. Yeah, that's what's weird about me. Feels like there's a heat kind of coming. Right. And, and the heat, you feel the heat also too more when I'm not touching the body and like I'm away from the body. Hope is what's important for people. And when they've exhausted medical science and they're told by their doctor, go home and learn to live, you're gonna die, prepare your papers, why shouldn't they be able to try an alternative technique that might stimulate the healing system and help them? That's unbelievable. It's Nelda Buss was a very interesting woman. I found her in Virginia. She'd just been out walking for a mile and a half, and she says she lives a completely normal life. I mean, that's what she told me. So when he was touching you, what'd you feel? A tingling. And? Well, I mean, I don't have any, you know, anything to heal, but I could feel definitely these vibrations. You know, I have was, a headache right now. Well, let's call Dean. Yeah. But, you know, they are investigating this stuff up at Columbia Presbyterian. They're taking a look at all kinds of alternative medicines, and, you know, the jury's completely out. Hey, if it works.